Today on CBI News, an article on thestar.com reveals that AMEA CEO David Bazoff takes indefinite paid leave of absence to respond to allegations made against him by Quebec's stock market regulator. Bazoff faces five charges, including influencing or attempting to influence the market price of the securities of AMEA and communicating privileged information. He has denied the accusations and said he is confident he will be found innocent of the charges. We have Alexandra Hall, Chief Financial Officer of AMEA, for a live interview with our reporter, Christina Legro, to address this issue. Thank you for meeting me on such short notice. I appreciate you meeting with me to discuss this situation publicly based on these circumstances. So let's start from the beginning. Can you describe what happened regarding the allegations of insider trading at AMEA? I would first like to advise our stakeholders and the public that the company is going to be as open and honest about any of our responses regarding this incident. In regards to the issue, Amaya's CEO, David Bazov, has several allegations against him and several other individuals pertaining to some insider training, trading, which has prompted him to take an indefinite paid leave of absence. I'm sure I'm not the only one wondering, but why is David Bazov still being paid on voluntary leave of absence while these allegations are continuing? These allegations that Amaya is faced with are not conclusive and no charges have been laid as of yet. Until an investigation has been conducted and charges have been laid, corrective action will then be taken. What has resulted from these allegations? There has been $200,000 to $155,000 worth of profits from individual investor transactions. Also, more than $800,000 was allegedly made from trades related to Amaya's $4.9 billion worth of purchases in 2014. As well, Ismail Mansour of Montreal allegedly made $500,000 of buying and selling shares in companies associated with Amaya. We've heard several allegations that David Bazo's family has pocketed money from the alleged insider trading. Can you comment on this? Since there is not enough concrete evidence, I cannot give any information about this matter, as of yet. If evidence is found against David Bazov, we will be the first to notify the public on all matters regarding any involvement. So as of right now, what is Amaya doing to address this incident? We have a new CEO, Rafi Ashkenov, that is temporarily replacing David Bazov. Rafi has been trained on all of the policies relating to ethical practices regarding the stock market. As well, currently we are fully cooperating with any information needed with the investigators to help them get to the bottom of the allegations. What has been done to ensure Amaya will not let this happen again? We were unaware that this was happening. However, we will take full responsibility because this is our company. We want to apologize because there is nothing more important to us than the trust of our stakeholders. We will ensure that the new policies are being created if necessary and that the existing policies are being enforced. All employees at Amaya are being trained on the new policies and responsibilities. We are properly monitoring all actions of employees to ensure that this never happens again. So when can we find out what happens with the investigation? When the investigation has been completed, we will put out a public notice. As well, all employees will be made aware of the resolution, and then we will be able to take corrective action from there. Our senior level management is committed to fixing this and communicating it to the public and all employees. One of our biggest priorities right now is gaining back the trust of our stakeholders. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for taking the time to address this exclusive issue on CBI News. Thank you for having me. On behalf of Amaya, we'd like to thank CBI News for giving us this opportunity to address this issue publicly. Now back to Ian Anderson with the weather. 